So in the last video, I showed you how to get Java and your Eclipse ADT bundle to begin developing apps for Android. In this video, I'm going to show you how to organize your Eclipse work area so that uh, it gives you the maximum convenience while developing apps. I have extracted my ADT bundle to my DevTools folder and here you can see there is a folder called Eclipse and then we have the Eclipse application. I'm going to double click on it. Since I'm launching the app for the first time, there is a confirmation message. I'm going to click on open. And this is the splash screen. It takes a while uh, depending upon the configuration of your system. This is asking for my workspace. A workspace is an area where all your projects will be stored. I'm going to name mine as ADT workspace and I'm also going to select this option use this as the default and do not ask again and I'm going to click on OK. Awesome. So this is our Java ADT Eclipse. This is what we will be using to develop our Android apps. I'm going to maximize this. And this is the welcome screen. We don't need the welcome screen. I'm going to click on the close button. And here you see a lot of uh, different panels that will help us during development. This one is called as the Package Explorer. Here is where we will be listing all our Android projects. Uh, we'll, we're going to minimize this outline to make more space. And I'm also going to minimize this console. That's it. And I'm going to adjust this thing. Right. And this is the basic setup of our workspace. Uh, there are also certain things that are missing uh, which will help us during development. I'm going to bring up those uh, views to go to window and show view. Click on other, expand Android and click on devices. Okay. Minimize this. Drag this to the bottom. Yes. The devices panel uh, helps you to select across different emulators or different devices while you are debugging. It's really helpful. Helpful. And the other view that we require is the log cat. Show view other log cat. See, there are two log cats. This is the older one. We are not going to use it. We are going to use the newer version. Select this log cat and click on OK. Again, drag, minimize this and drag this to the bottom of the screen. And this is also a very useful panel. It will be showing you a lot of debugging information. So these are the two views that are most useful when you are developing apps for Android. That is it. This is the basic setup and this is where we will be developing apps for Android. If you have any questions, feel free to ask. Thank you.